Welcome along to the Siberia Long video. This set is specifically for people taking up Jordan. Um, let's say Nidan, Sandan, Yondan, that sort of level. Um, I wouldn't recommend taking Jordan until your sensei has you know, given you the go-ahead. You take their advice over anything we tell you on the internet land. Anyway, so down to the Siberia. We're going to start off with Jorgeburi. Um, 20 of uh, step forward and you know lift the sword up to a 45 degree angle. Bring it down in the center line in a big, nice circular arc, down to around shin level. Just make sure everything stays nice and centered, and uh, concentrate on the kick and thigh of your back foot stepping forward and your front foot stepping back. We're going straight into 20 nanameburi as well, using hirakiyashi. So you should know this footwork by now. If you're taking jordan, shouldn't really have to explain it to you. And again, just make sure everything just uh, stays nicely centered and on track and the angle of the blade, change that, you know, really work your wrist. Hajime. Okay. Okay, so this next exercise is basically like kote gai shikote, but we're going to do it from chudan to chudan. So stepping forward, drop the shin down on your right hand side and over, and then stepping back on the left hand side and over. And we're going to do this in like a kote man style timing, like nidan waza style timing. So it should be bam bam, bam bam, bam bam. Okay, and we're going to do 20 of these. Hajime. Okay, so this next set is just going to be uh, Chu Dan Saburi. It's going to be Sankyu Do Saburi. So pushing off with the left foot, uh, be conscious to perform Semeashi. So uh, step forward as if to threaten ski on your opponent. Um, keep the Ken Sen down for as long as possible through the movement. And then as the left foot snaps up for Hiketsuke, lift and cut in one smooth motion in the timing of one. Okay, so we're going to do 20 of these. Chu dan nokumai, jime. Okay, so the next set is exactly the same type of zuburi, but this time we're working on kote. As usual, be mindful of your hasuji, the angle of the blade. 
Uh, make sure to step forward with Semeyashi as before, keeping the Kensen down for as long as possible. But also concentrate on your left hand grip position. Um, while there's no physical pressure on because you're not doing Katate Waza, here's a chance to really think about that left hand position. We're going to do 20 of. Hajime. Okay, so the next set we're going to work on uh, Sankyu Do Suburi again, uh, this time for Do. So same thing, make sure you keep the Kensen down for as long as possible and apply Seme through the movement. And be conscious of the height that you cut Do to, many people cut it too high. Uh, you can see here you need to bring the Monouchi level with the top of the side of the door, the actual target area. So we'll be doing uh, 20 of these again, and be sure to cut into the center as well. Okay, so Chuda no Kamai. Hajime. Okay, so now you want to switch to a suburito or uh, suburi shinai, and we're going to do katate men. And we're going to do 20 of these in a continuous fashion, so renzoku waza style. So that's stepping forwards and backwards cutting. Okay, so when you cut, make sure you get a nice clean stop, and the first thing to move should be your feet. Okay, so don't lift and then step forward, rather step forward and lift. Um, and at the end of this, we're going to hold the Shinai out in the men position for about 5 to 10 seconds. Okay, so be prepared for that. So, Chudan no Kamai, Hachime! And chew down and relax. Okay, so the next set is going to be 20 of exactly the same sort of suburi, this um, continuous uh, form, the Renzoku Waza, but to Kote. If you've had, uh, you know, you struggled with the suburito of doing the men waza, you shouldn't uh, attempt a suburi. Instead, use your regular shinai uh, to take the edge off or um, only do it as men cuts or even a combination of both, okay? It's really important that you don't get uh, 
uh, repetitive stress injuries from doing this. You need to build up to it. Um, so we'll be doing 20 Kolte uh, Suburi. Okay, two done, Kamai. Hajime. Okay, switch back to your normal Shinai. We're going to work on Sankyu Do Saburi from Jordan. So focus on pushing off with the back foot strongly and really driving forward. Okay, And again, you're applying Semeyashi exactly as before, but this time with the left fist and by driving your, your uh, hips forward strongly. Okay, Another point to consider is instead of cutting square on, start with your posture square on and then as you snap the cut, you should snap it uh, by also twisting your hips to a hanmi position. So it's, you can see this motion here. And that will get you extra reach and create power in your tenuchi. Okay, we'll be doing 30 of these. Jodan. Jume. Okay, so the next set will be exactly the same style of Suburi, but this time we'll be working on Kote. So really concentrate on all the same things, okay, but when you step forward, uh, think about the left hand grip and position, okay. Extend it forward, be generous, and make sure that your thumb is pointing down. Uh, Chiba Sensei always used to say about having a feeling that your thumb would dig into the floor, and that's to avoid this, this sort of problem where your left wrist kind of kicks up and the the Kensen it causes the Kensen to drop unnecessarily far which makes the hard sword the sword very difficult to pick up again so instead if you have the uh, wrist bone over the top you should be able to get a clean stub very easily without using muscle work one more look you see, you see if you've got the correct grip you should be able to stop it literally just by using the uh, the thumb and the index finger and your wrist bones okay so there's no need for muscle Jordan 30 times Jamea. Yeah. 
Okay, so the next set is going to be exactly the same, but this time katate do. Um, you're not going to have a lot of opportunity to use this waza unless you're a Nito player, but it's still worth practicing because it may come in handy one day. Uh, we're doing it a lot for wrist strength as well, but it is very applicable for Nito players because they can block and cut this at the same time. When you're doing this, just be conscious to stick to the basics of do which is to bring your left hand into the center. Now, if you're cutting square on, that's what it looks like, but just remember, if you cut Han Mi, it's going to come across a little, as you're going to see here. And be also conscious that you you need to open up your left hand grip a little um, to get the angle, because you don't have the right hand's assistance. Jordan, 30 times. Hajime. Okay, so the next set is going to be katate kotemen. Okay, so just have a look at the footwork. It's the board, kuriyashi kote men, and ayumiyashi ich ni san, and straight back into jodan. As you retreat, um, try to have a feeling of a bit of zanshin as well. Okay, so as you retreat, guard the center a little bit, and draw up at the last second back into jodan. Okay, and we'll be doing 20 of these, so that will be 40 cuts all together. All the basics still apply. Jordan, Jimmy. Okay, so the next one is going to be Gakudo uh, from Sankudo, so three step cutting. And um, it's a very good waza to actually bring up to the level of all your other waza because Jordan plays this This is a useful tool. If you threaten uh, Debana men, if you semi Debana men, and uh, people lift and they block or guard or they try to catch you with Suriage, um, you can very easily change to this by just stepping through with your footwork. And cutting Gyakudo and rushing in as if you were cutting like Debana Kote, you know, so like into Tai Tari. Um, so very good to, to use this. Um, keep the left hand in the center as always, don't swing around your head. And uh, we'll be doing 30 of these.
始め Okay, so the next one we're going to be doing katate men. Uh, we're going to do this renzo style. Okay, so step forward, cut men, keep it there, move your feet first, and step back, and uh, lift and cut men while you're stepping back. Okay, keep the left hand nicely in the center, and uh, make sure to get a nice generous lift um, when you step back. はじめ。Okay, so the next set is going to be a hundred men suburi with two hands. Okay, and um, cutting the same style, so cutting forwards and backwards, uh, Renzoku was a style. Uh, make sure you get a nice clean snap and stop at the end of each cut, so practice good tenuchi. Be sure to set off with your feet first. Uh, don't lift and cut and don't bounce the shinai. Um, when you cut your komen, Try to lift up through the center and then step forward and cut to your command so that it doesn't swing around your head like a helicopter. We'll be doing these in batches of 20. So 20 times showman, 20 times your command, 20 times showman, 20 times your command, etc. etc. till we get to the full set of 100 cuts. Ready? Two done. Shmeh! Yeah. <laughs> 
Okay, now for the last set, we'll be doing high suburi, just 50 times shomen suburi. So jumping forward and cutting men, jumping back and lifting. So lift and cut, lift and cut. Um, so as I said, 50 times, okay? Make sure you get a nice snap on that cut, good strong tenuchi. And for the 51st cut, we'll be cutting men with fumikomiyashi from Chudan and the 52nd cut will be men with fumikomiyashi from Jordan and that will finish the suburi off okay so Chudan Jordan no kumai hajime Okay, that concludes our Jordan Subri set. I hope you enjoyed it. It's a very tough one. Uh, please don't, uh, you know, do this sort of thing without adequately stretching your wrists and warming up properly and that sort of thing. Um, you can induce tennis elbow, but I hope you enjoyed it and uh, take care. We'll see you soon.